Hi guys, it's Mo from Mo Reads It, and today I am doing a tag. So Layla Loves Lit actually tagged me in the January tag, so here I am doing it. I'll leave the creator of the tag down below, as well as Lala Loves Lit channel. I'm so happy that Jayla tagged me because I would not have heard of this tag otherwise, especially since I'm so new to the book community, and I'm very excited. So pretty much the January tag is pretty much... A recap of last year with some more specific questions as well as a projection for 2022. The first question, what was the last and first book you read in 2021? So the last book I read in 2021 was actually Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. So far I think it's okay. I think he gave this like a three four stars. It's classified as horror. It's not horror to me. I can't watch a horror movie but I could totally read this. It is YA though so it's probably why. It was good. I feel like the writing has lots of potential and this was her debut novel so I feel like her writing has improved from them. I did read Hunting Prince Dracula afterwards and the writing in this is far better. More prose, very lovely and I tabbed it red for all my favorite prose moments. And the first book of 2021 I don't entirely remember. I think it was Twilight because I wanted to read Midnight Sun but I don't really remember because I really wasn't tracking my booktube. I was just reading for like random out of random boredness so I have no idea. I think it was Twilight because I wanted to read Midnight Sun but I cannot confirm nor deny that. The next question, what was the first book to read in 2022? Continuing from Stalking Jack Thurker to Hunting Prince Dracula. It was better written than Stalking Jack the Ripper, I feel like it definitely took off more in this book, especially at the ending, but I still give it a 3-4 because it improved, but it was so marginal that it didn't make the biggest difference in my rating scale. Three of my rating goals for 2022. So one of them is to read more fantasy romance because I feel like that's where my interest lies as a reader, as well as read 100 books. I used to read 100 books when I was a kid. I really want to know, can I still do that? Because that was so many years ago. And then, like, with life and everything, it's just a completely different priority game. So, curious to see if I can do that. The other one was, I think, to, like, read manga. Because I have been getting into anime. I think that was one of my other goals. I wasn't sure. Honestly, let me just redirect you to my reading goals 2022 video. Because I made a video for this, like, at the end of January or the beginning, the end of December or something like that. So I do have a reading goals video. I just don't remember exactly what's on it all the time. Next question, share three anticipated releases. So I also just posted a video about this today actually. So today is Friday at 1 p.m. and my video is up on this. Remember guys, I'm here every Friday. 1 p.m. PST, 3 p.m. EST, anyway. Three of them would actually be Ch Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare because that's the only book I'm really waiting for the next installment of. And then Book Lovers by Emily Henry and The Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I really chose The Daughter of the Moon Goddess because it has a beautiful cover. Yes, I picked books based off their covers. Don't judge me. And I picked Book Lovers by Emily Henry because I plan on reading, I believe it's called Summer Read. It's called Beach Read. Beach Read by Emily Henry. And everyone was talking about it last year on book talk so I was like ah oh, I need to read that this year behind as always but it is well with my soul five what goals did you reach and what goals did you not reach in 2021 so I didn't really have any goals for 2021 I was really just starting to rediscover my love for reading and that's how this booktube channel came about I don't have any regrets for 2021 necessarily I wish I had started reading earlier in 2021 because I feel like I would have just loved the experience sooner but time is time we'll get back to that later um i still enjoyed the time i had with reading it was fun i enjoyed my time with reading i just wish i started reading earlier because i you never know how much you miss something until you're reintroduced back to it and you're just like why have i not been doing you i love this like I don't know if anyone's like a runner and they love running and they stop running for like a few months and then they go back to running and they're like oh my goodness I love this that's not me that is not me at all I do not run but for those who tell me about it, they're like so excited to get back into like the groove of running and I'm just like wish I was you but I'm not <laughs> that's how I feel about books I wish I had gone back into the groove of reading it before because I love 
reading. It's such a beautiful way to spend time, discover new languages, art, culture, life. It is a true escapism. Number six, new releases that you heard about but you aren't particularly care for or excited about. Or you just have no desire to read. Um, I really don't want to read anything by Jennifer L. Amontrot. I read From Blood and Ash and it was really disappointing. I feel like the hype was enormous and the delivery was beyond flat. It was just crushing. I think because of that, I probably won't. I did DNF the series for this year. I'm not continuing the series. I'm not going back to front from Blood and Ash unless I have like a really major change of heart. I have no plans of having a change of heart though, so we'll see. I'd never say never really because I feel like if my friend really wants to read it and she's like, it's gonna be a really good time, we can laugh about it together, I will probably read the book. But yeah, I just, I have no desire for anything else in her writing or series-ish. Outside of that, I really don't have anything to say because I don't really know what's anticipating to be released that I don't care about because I'm recently new to the community. But I'm excited overall for pretty much everything. I'm just excited to be reading this year. I am excited to be in the world of the reading zone because I missed it so much. Reading habits you want to change. Um, I was actually thinking about this last night. I think I want to DNF more books. I think I keep waiting for the book to get better and it just doesn't. And I feel like I need to have like this set cutoff point. For the current book I'm reading, I'm giving it until page 200 or until like the fantasy romance actually starts happening because I feel like right now it's just like passive feelings of the heart that they refuse to acknowledge and I'm just like I wanted to read a fantasy romance not like I don't know a side piece romance I don't want a side piece romance I want a fantasy romance strong plot strong romance both in one book so I think that's something I'm definitely gonna change and the other reading habit I want to change is actually I like to read like the first page of a book of like many books and then just put them all down and pick the one I really f feel like reading but like you don't really get everything out of the first page of, page of a book like a lot of my favorite books the first page was very scene setting but the rest of the book was amazing so I really want to start reading like more like the first 30 or 50 pages of the book when I open a new book instead of just reading like one page here one page there one page over here one page over there because I think it gets really messy quickly. Any adaptations you're excited for? I have literally none because I have no idea what's going to be adapted. I didn't want to Google what's going to be adapted necessarily because I feel like I would have to add to my TBR pile because I'm the type of person who has to read the book before I watch the movie. This is the same reason I have yet to see Dune even though it's like sci-fi and I love sci-fi. But I have a massive TBR right now and I don't feel like putting pressure or taking away from the fun of reading by having like this huge stack of books I'm like oh my gosh I have to get through that no reading is fun it's a, it's a pleasure keep it a pleasure so that's why I'm not gonna look up that adaptations right now until something sparks my interest I guess share your favorite bookish memory so this actually happened this week so I actually went to the gym this week and I had like this beautiful day. I got a massage, I worked out, and then I walked in the cold. It's like 36 degrees here. Um, I walked in the cold to Barnes & Noble because it was literally only a seven minute walk away and I wasn't hearing anything. So I walked to Barnes & Noble in the cold to get the Outlander series. And guess what? I got it on sale. So I got the entire, all four books of this, all four books of the beginning of the series. I really love the Outlander Netflix show. It stole my heart. It left me reeling. I love the cinematography. I love the acting. If you haven't seen it, you guys should watch it. It's really good. And the funny part about this whole adventure is that it all started based off of one TikTok. I saw a TikTok about this girl. She's like natural and she just like makes these lifestyle videos and she was like, oh, I love Outlander so much. I pretty much married my own Highlander. And I was like, what is she talking about? 
So I Google, so I was like looking up in the comments, I was like, oh, this is like a TV show. So I watched the TV show, like kind of like as a passive thing for like background noise while I work. Fell in love, watched all four seasons, and then went back and started rewatching it. And I just love it. I'm really into cinematography, filmmaking, photography, videography, all of that. So it was very fun for me to watch that and like analyze it and scrutinize it, but also really enjoy it. So I got the books because if I love the show, I'm probably going to love the book. I'm literally already on page 26. It is harder for me to read it because it has, um, it's written in a way that I don't naturally think, like with the, um, the accent. So I'm trying to get used to that. I do read an accent, but it takes me a while for it to click into my mind. And so right now that's the process I'm on. But I think that's my favorite, favorite bookish memory because... It was just all tied to these joyous moments of my life. Like I went to a gym, I got a massage, I went through the cold like a little badass like in the cold in my like leggings and thick jacket to get these amazing books. Got them on sale. So they're $40 in store. I got them for $31 because I did the price match at barnesandnoble.com. Y'all should do that if you're buying your books new. I got the book so I can tab it and write in it and mark in it and everything. And I just, it was just a beautiful moment. It was my favorite bookish memory by far because it just tied into so many other beautiful memories I already have with the series, with the show, with discovering the show, with discovering the TikTok, with going to a gym and having that beautiful massage that I really needed. And then getting these good books and like coming home and I actually come home, I actually came home and I took a nap. I didn't even read, I didn't do anything. I showered and I took a nap and it was just like, a blissful day a day of bliss and I had Outlander so happy and that is all the questions for the January tag I am honored to be tagged in this thank you Layla loves lit be sure to check out her channel I'll leave a link down below as well as Jan who created this tag to begin with and I feel bad but I actually have no one to tag I don't really know anyone in the book community um, I feel awkward tagging people I never spoke to. I don't know. This I literally have only been on Book Talk for not even a month. Maybe a month and like 10 days. So Layla Loves Lit is like the only person I actually know. And I can't re-tag her. So if you see this video and you want to make it, please make it because I would feel really awkward just reaching out to like strangers I don't know. Even though even though Layla Loves Lit is a stranger, I feel like we talked enough in like DMs and like little YouTube messages that I feel like I know her as a person and she's not like a complete blank stranger to me, but please just make this tag, this video, do the January tag if you see it and you just want to do it and it's fun. I highly encourage you, if you want to do it, here's the tag, go on, do it, have fun with it, life is short, read some books, make some funny cool videos. And that's all, folks. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Don't forget, I'm here every Friday. And subscribe. Love y'all. Bye.